All right. We have two more emails we want to respond to, and then we'll and then we'll, we'll give you a couple of um, announcements about the show. So, okay. The, so I'm. I find myself grabbing. What's the 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 um the eighth story yeah. is? Should I leave my fiance for high paying job? Okay, so that's that's the eighth story. Should you yeah. should I leave fiance for high paying job? Mm. Okay, let me just. Uh, I'm a 25 year old pharmacist with a ambi- with ambitious dreams of climbing the corporate ladder in my career. Recently, an exciting job opportunity has been present has presented itself in a different city, one that not only promises career advancement but also comes with a substantial increase in salary however here is where things get complicated i'm being in a deeply i've been in a in a deeply loving and committed relationship for three years with my fiance who also has his own career and commitment firmly rooted in our in our current city we have built a life together shared dreams and supported each other through thick and thin the thought of leaving him behind breaks my heart. Yet the allure of professional growth and financial stability pulls me in the opposite direction. I'm torn between my aspirations for career success and my devotion to my fiancé. On one hand, I fear that passing up this opportunity could lead to regret and res- resentment down the line, or as I may never have another chance like this again. On the other hand, I can't bear the thoughts of uprooting our lives and potentially jeopardizing the strong bond we have cultivated over the years. I feel as though I'm standing in a, at a crossroad with no clear path ahead. How do I navigate this delicate balance between, balance between my career ambitions and personal commitment? Any insights or advice you could offer would be immensely appreciated. All right, so that's where we are now um she has this this def- obviously from the way this was written this is a woman yes okay yes. so this is a lady from way so 25 year old pharmacist yeah, was... has a job opportunity in different states in a different city um and then question the problem that she has now is she's dating somebody else with a job somewhere else and she doesn't want to... she doesn't want she doesn't know how to balance it rather she doesn't okay. know how to like okay should she go for the job or to stay with her man all right so that's that's where we are now should she go for the job so your thoughts let me just ask your own thoughts on it before we before we bring everybody in um Femi, we see you we'll bring you back on just stay on the stay on the conversation um let's have us okay no, my thoughts i don't know yet because ah, this this is i don't know but <laughs> <laughs> this career thing I'm, I'm big on it because i i want to move forward in life i want to be like i want to for me personally i'm speaking from like a personal point of view i want to move forward i want to like gain more in my career path so basically i don't know it's just it's very confusing actually i think i'm still in our shoes too because if my partner would say okay don't go or i want to reason and say okay should i stay or should i go to be a very difficult thing for me to do because I would want to like pursue my path in career, but at the same time, what if I go to the to that other state and I get the job or something and I don't find anybody else, or he practically he just leaves me and it ends there and I don't find anybody else, so it's going to be difficult for me, Sha. So I don't. Even, it's, it's a very difficult. It's a difficult. Situation. Very difficult situation. So, I don't even know what to do. So I think I'm waiting on this. I'm, I'm waiting for everybody's I'm advice. Waiting for everybody's advice. Yeah. Okay. Um. So a couple of things that I would want to say before. Um, all right if, if you're going to give advice on this please remember this particular person is a woman okay she's a lady 25 years old and she's a pharmacist all right i understand where she is um for those of you who have watched up to this particular point i'm a physician i'm a doctor um and we kind of like have we have a kind of like love work relationship with pharmacists nurses and physiotherapists and people will tell you that Particularly when it comes to um, some healthcare professions, like pharmacy, like pharmacy that involves distribution, most people want to live in the cities. Most people live in Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt. But it, there's a lot of distribution moving in like rural areas, so it's not unusual for 
for pharmacists and pharmaceutical reps eh, to high paying jobs on the outskirts of nowhere. I know somebody who got double his pay, double the pay he was earning in Lagos. He got it for a job that required him to um, like head the like a distribution team in was it Plato State or so. The job came with a brand new car, came with an apartment. But he was a guy. All right. So in that case, but it's a difficult thing for it's a very very difficult thing for a very difficult decision for women to make. Okay. So I have a couple of pointers, um, and I think anybody who's going to give advice for this show. I think you should stress the role of money. I think you stress the role of career for women. And I also think you should stress the ease at replacing um, at replacing um, a responsible man. Okay, so I think those are the three things. Because if you read, if we listen to our message, the message, to go back to the message, this is what, this is what the message says. The first thing is that she had an exciting job opportunity in a different city. So the job of this is exciting and there's a substantial increase in salary, probably double what she was earning before. The second is the guy is a loving and committed person. So what, what, what are the odds of finding a loving and committed person in another city? Okay. And then the third thing is she's female, she's 25 years old, she's ambitious, she wants to climb the corporate ladder. Exactly. So those are three things. So if you're going to give her counsel, and this is, these are true stories. I have an idea of exactly who sent this in. I have an idea of who sent this in. I am almost certain that the person who sent this in is not a pharmacist. I have an idea of who sent this in. Um, person just used the word from, but I have an idea. Okay, so if you're going to give counsel, please give counsel on the basis of these three things. Exciting job opportunities, substantial pay, and the ease of finding a committed, loving replacement to the person she's currently with. Okay, so Femi, you've had to relocate for you've had to relocate for career opportunity. And I think it will be too. You've you've made career decisions that's taking you out of where you reside. Okay, so um while we wait for Femi to come back on, I'll, again as as previously before, we'll, we'll allow it will be to wrap up on this story. Listen to what we want. Listen to what Gabriel has to say and what Miracle has to say. Then tell me if you can come back on, hear your thoughts, and wrap up with it. And after this, we just have one more email to treat and then a couple of big announcements. So. Okay, so the the context of this email is based on sacrifice. You understand? And I feel that if you are in a committed relationship, you have to make sacrifices. Now, irrespective of your career, like you said, you said you guys have built a life together, supported each other and shared dreams. So if you can build a life together with someone and you guys have supported each other through thick and thin, even not even not being together, I feel that, that that man that told you that you should come there it means he has something more for you. Because I feel that it is more reasonable to think that you are leaving this opportunity for another opportunity. So you okay if if the person is a pharmacist, pharmacist now and and you know a you know that you have to go to another city to establish yourself because I feel that this now this now goes down to the man that that cares about you and feel that okay maybe you've left one um, opportunity for another and because of you because of that I want to establish you in that area so it's, it still boils down to sacrifice here. Yeah? Because you cannot say you are in a committed, like you, like you said, committed relationship. And you want to see life through. And you are not taking sacrifice. Because either you like it or not, you still take sacrifices. You still do one or two things that will cost you. You understand? So as long as your partner understands that, okay, well, doing, this, doing this would be for a better mentor or would be for a very good reason. So the only point, the only point here is that if you're able to take that, that sacrifice, I feel that she's good to go as long as it's built a life schedule to take and thin and support each other. So I don't know what other thing that she would, she would want. Miracle. Okay. Um, the first question I want to ask this person is: um, Is your partner against your decision of like going abroad to make this? 
this your not, this job of yours. It's not going abroad. I think it's it's going to a different city. It's not going abroad. Different city. City, yes. Whatever. As far as your partner is not against it, it's just your thoughts that maybe it might not work out. But with you know communication and every other thing, it can still work out. There is no no barrier in it. You just have to. Since you said the person has always supported you and all that stuff, so it can still work out. You are not. Uh, you don't need to. You can still uh, be in that job and still be with your partner. It's not something about 50-50 or stuff. The thing is, you just have to improve in your communication and everything. And everything will work out well. So, you... All right, Femi. Yeah, Charles. Yeah, I'm Femi. Sorry. Yes, sir. With your partner. And... I, for one, believe that... Um... You know, communication is key, like um, what the other lady had said. It's really important to talk about these things because, first of all, we all, like, I don't know, me personally, if I have a higher paying job that takes me away from this city or even this country as it is, and if I have the opportunity, of course, I'm taking it, even if I'm married. But then again, it boils down to communication, like, how we are, you know, how we are discussing about, like, movement, who is relocating with who, you know, um, then we we'll have to like talk about like uh, come and see each other like you know if there's kids involved if there's anything involved and in that case like they are still you know just together if if they claim to really love each other I don't think it's supposed to be a big thing not to have that um how how would you how would I put it not to have that little shift or little um conversation it's not supposed to be that it's not supposed to be like a rocket science it's supposed to be oh we like this opportunity has, has come up and i think it's best with the, i take it or not then what do you think about it you know everything should be up for communication and at at best i feel like they are going to like come to like a concluding um middle ground and meet at the middle and also you know move on from that that's the best and that's my own approach okay uh it will be Okay, everybody's not. She, she, I think, I think she's off camera right now. Okay, so we'll just. This are my own thoughts on this. Um, I know of people. I know of people who are married, couples that are married that uh, live in different cities, and some of them have stayed in different cities for years. Probably see them. Okay. I've seen that. We've seen that happen. For example, most people whose um, husbands or wives are in the Nigerian military, it's very, oftentimes they don't live in the same city. Okay, oftentimes it's not unusual for you to have the family in Lagos and the husband is on the is on the front in the military base or so. So there are communication tools. Um, I think you probably would have to have that conversation, and I think you probably would want to. Um, I think it's something that can be worked around okay I, I i think it's something that can work around i would probably say that if you're married to the person you guys are just dating you can take up the new job and report there work there for like a month two months if the pay is substantial enough that can afford you the chance to probably come into where your um, fiance is while you plan the wedding and as soon as you're as you planning a wedding down the line while you're planning the wedding then you can while you're planning a wedding then you can make the decision of where you are going to start and raise your family okay but these things have to be worked out most people will tell you most married people will tell you in the very very first four five years of their marriage there's usually a lot of debate and deliberation about where would you settle down um where would where would you call home Okay, but in this particular, and we're talking, we're speaking practically because we live in an economy right now that lots of people want better paying jobs. And so if you find a better paying job, I think it's something that you should explore. Okay, but it's a conversation you'll have to have together. This is not, I don't think this is much of a big issue. It's more, you're, you're dealing with a logistics issue. Okay, and so let's, let's make it practical. Let's assume your job is in Abuja and your boyfriend is in Lagos, your fiance is in Lagos. Um, you may have to 
if you've been dating for three years and both of you are in in the space in which you are both financially stable, then what are you guys waiting for eventually? At some particular point, you probably want to like tie the knot. If you get a better paying job, your boyfriend is your fiance is getting also is working well, then you guys can get married. And so the question now is, how do you navigate the back and forth between Lagos and Abuja? And some people fly in once a month, all right, while they plan the wedding. And then the husband probably might want to find a better paying job in Abuja. Or you probably might want to do the job for like six months and use it um, as like a step up the ladder to move into another career back in Lagos. But it's, so this, these are logistics things that can, work, can, that can be worked out, okay? I would not advise you to throw away um, a loving relationship with a very, very supporting person just because uh, you guys live in different cities. Mm-hmm.